When it comes to translating your WordPress site, you have more options now than you ever have before. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can do this super quickly and super easily. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, this first method I'm gonna show you may be a little more time consuming than other ways to do this, but it doesn't require any paid plugins, expensive software, or any specific skill sets. So here you can see my WordPress site that I'm gonna use for this demo. You can use this method for any WordPress site that you're using and for any page builder or theme as well. And to do this, we're gonna utilize the power of ChatGPT. So first of all, I'm just gonna copy the text that I wanna translate. So I'll go ahead and copy this, and then we're gonna jump over into ChatGPT. So here you can see I've jumped onto ChatGPT's website and we're gonna tell it to translate for us. To do this, I'm gonna go down into the text field and I'm gonna tell it to translate to Spanish. And then I'm just gonna paste that text that we pulled from our site. Then we'll send the message here. And you can see it super quickly translates that for us. And then from here, it's super easy. We're just gonna copy this in. And then we'll jump over to our WordPress site and we'll just paste in the translated text. We'll save that and you can do this for any part of your website. So to show you again, I'll just go ahead and copy this text right here that unlike your business potential with our innovative solutions, I'll copy it, jump back over into ChatGPT, translate to Spanish, paste the text. You can see it translated for us really quickly. And then I'll simply just copy that, go back over to our WordPress site and then paste that in. And there you have it. We've translated a couple parts of our page using ChatGPT. Now, while there may be pretty easy to do, it is also extremely time consuming since you have to copy and paste and jump between your WordPress site and ChatGPT. But there's another way you can do it without ever having to leave your WordPress site. And I'm gonna show you how you can translate using Divi AI. So here you can see we're back on our WordPress site and I'm using the Divi Builder. And I'm gonna show you just how easy and quickly you can use Divi AI to translate your website. So I'll scroll down a little bit and let's go ahead and translate this text right here. So all we have to do is open the module settings, hover over to where it has AI, and click this. And then it's as easy as going over to translate and choosing the language we wanna to translate to. You can see you have a ton of different options. And for this, I'll just choose Spanish. You can see it automatically translates the text for us. I'll click use this text and it automatically changes the text for us. As you can see, this is incredibly quick, super easy, and you never have to leave your builder. Let's go ahead and just translate a couple more parts of our website since it's so quick and easy. So let's translate a little more of our site. Let's say I wanna translate this body copy here. I'll go to the module settings go over to the Divi AI options, click translate, choose the language we want, and then simply use this text. You can see just how easy and powerful this is. Using Divi AI, you can very quickly translate parts of your site and not having to leave your visual builder is so nice. Now, another way you can translate the text on your site is by using a plugin. Let me show you that real quick as well. So for this, I'm gonna use a plugin called gtranslate to translate our site automatically without us manually having to go in and change all the text. So we're gonna go over to plugins and we're gonna add a new plugin. I'm gonna search for gtranslate, and then we'll install the plugin, and then I'll activate the plugin, and then we'll check out our plugin settings. So here you can see all of our settings we have for gtranslate. So from here, it's pretty simple. You just choose the language you wanna translate from, and then the languages you want it to use. You have some other options here for your widget preview and the flags you can use, but I'm not gonna dive super deep into customizing the widget. I'll just show you how it works. Then once you've chosen your languages, we can just save the changes. So let's check one of our pages out to see how it looks. So here you can see a WordPress that I was working on and down in the bottom right, we can see the gtranslate widget. So if you click this, we can choose which language we want it to translate into. So I'll choose Spanish here and you can see it automatically translates the entirety of our page using the gtranslate plugin. And you can see you can do this with all of the languages we've chosen and you can quickly switch between them just by clicking on the widget. Now, while the automatic translation features of a plugin like this can make your user experience so much easier, the downside is that it's not gonna really enhance your SEO. Since this translation is occurring on the browser side, it's not actually being translated or indexed by Google, so it's not helping your SEO. There could also be some accuracy issues when it comes to an automatic translation like this, at least in the free version. So if you are using this in a professional capacity, you might wanna check out the premium version for some better translation settings. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I also recently did a video on how you can create a multilingual website using the power of AI. If you haven't seen that already, go ahead and check that out. There should be a floating thing over here for you to click on and we'll see you in the next one.